The only time really people mess with their microphone or speaker settings is when they can't hear themselves. For example, through the microphone they talk and yet when they play it back it sounds really distant. Or when they play a movie or they want to listen to their music on their computer it sounds really distant or like they have to really crank it up to hear anything. So to change your speaker settings or your microphone, first of all the speaker, you can just come down here and click on the speaker. I mean that was pretty obvious, right? Well, in any case you can click on that and click and drag this up or down to set it at the max level. That may be the issue why you can't hear anything. Let go of it. Click off in a blank area and then go ahead and try listening to your music or watching your video. The other place that you can go to to adjust your speaker settings or your volumes and also the microphone as well is come down here and click on the start button. Go to the control panel. Come up here and click on hardware and sound and then click on sound and you get a little pop up here. On the first tab, the playback tab, wherever you see a green circle with the check mark, those are the default speakers. You can go ahead and select it and click on properties or just double click on it. Go to the levels tab and there's the play control. Again, it's up at 100% volume. I mean, it's the same thing as coming down here. So if I click and drag that down, when I come down here and click on the speaker, you can see it's down. Drag it up, that drags up as well. You can also set the uh, playback controls for the microphone front port, the line in mic, digital in. I'm going to go ahead and click cancel. For recording, come up here and click on the recording tab. You can see as I'm talking, I'm using the microphone here, green circle with the check. And I've got an audio card, which is Creative Sound Blaster. In any case, when I'm recording, and if I'm not seeing the green bars go up, double click on it, go to the Levels tab, you got your microphone here, the level, which is at 33, and then the microphone boost. Well, I can take the microphone boost and go down to plus 10 or down to zero, but then if I do that, I have to take the microphone level and push it all the way up, and I still may sound very distant. So instead, I like to give the microphone a strong boost and decrease my volume level here down to 33. Now there's one more thing that may or may not affect you. If you don't see the microphone boost here, it could be numerous or various reasons. The least of which is that, let me close out of here, you can see that I have a sound card and then I have an audio card, well, on my motherboard on my computer. In other words, I have two separate cards basically. And I chose to use this one. Well, if I go ahead and I plug my microphone into the sound card, Creative Sound Blaster, then this would be active, but then when I double click on that, let's pretend that I did, in any case, like we did here, I wouldn't see the microphone boost. And the reason may be is because Creative Sound Blaster has its own proprietary software program and doesn't really go off or use the microphone boost, and so it doesn't display it in here, in which case you'll have to come down here, click on the notification arrow, and there's the, uh, when you hover over it, my Creative Sound Blaster volume, both for playing back audio and also recording. So you'll have to open that up and play with that. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for all my training, please visit me at my website, dreamforce.us.